Hi, my name is Brian. This is a, um, a very modified Telecaster that I've been working on, a Fender Telecaster, and um, it doesn't really look like a Telecaster anymore. But uh, there were a few things that worked out really well, and I wanted to make a video to, so I remember what I did, but also to share it in case anybody else was interested in trying something like it. Um, I call it a skinny Telecaster, a skinny Tele, um, mostly because if you look at it from the front, you know, it looks sort of like a normal Telecaster. Uh, except it's got this extra thing that's been added up here, which makes it start to look more like a more like a Stratocaster, and also it has an extra pickup in here, um, and that's also makes it look a little bit more like a Stratocaster. Um, but otherwise, it's sort of the same normal tele shape. Now, most most electric guitars are are essentially they get carved out and they have a nice shape in two dimensions, but the third dimension is pretty much just a flat space, flat wood, flat piece of wood. This one I've done some more modification on. So if you look at the back, you can see it doesn't have a flat piece of wood back here. There's all kinds of contours. And I took out a whole bunch of, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but took out a whole bunch of wood there um, to make it lighter. I also added this so I could have more of a, a better balance when I put a strap on it. So when it hangs, it hangs in a more natural position. And then I also contoured this side. So it had a little bit of contouring when I got it, but it, now it has very aggressive contouring. So it fits really nicely next to my stomach there. Oh, and I also took off a lot of weight down here on this side underneath the horn because that doesn't do much other than, I guess it holds on the leg sometimes, but there's no reason to have all that extra wood there. When I was, when I was calcula or when I, when I measured it afterwards, it's about um, a pound and a half um, lighter than it used to be, almost two pounds. So it's almost a seven pound guitar now, which is more like a, a hollow body kind of guitar. Um, anyhow, has a nice feel. Um, oh, I also finished the neck, took off the, um, the poly that was on it, sanded it down to bare wood, and then built it back up a little bit with some true oil. Um, that worked out really nicely also. So, uh, oh, here, here's a picture of what it looked like. The first thing I did, I didn't really like the pick guard. It was a white pick guard, so I took that off. And when I took it off, I found that there was a, a hole here for a middle pickup. And that started me down the path of modifying it. And the second thing is I had problems with the guitar. It, had a lot of no neck dive there. Um, it was heavier down there. So I did two things. In addition to adding this horn that I was talking about, I also lightened up these guys at the end by putting a little plastic pegs there instead of the metal ones that came with it. Oh yeah, the finish. The finish I did with, uh, you know, just black paint first to start. And then I used some poly and then smoothed that down. And at the end to keep it, you know, from being too shiny, I used a um, true oil on top of the poly. So there's lots of layers of poly, a few layers of paint, lots of layers of poly, and then lots of, a few layers of true oil on the top. And that, that also worked out pretty well. Um, I was happy with that. These are all, they look like single coil pickups, but these are, you know, all modern single coil pickups with um, noise canceling. You know, they're essentially humbucker pickups um, just stacked on top of each other instead of next to each other. Anyhow, I like the, the Fender noiseless pickup back here. Um, I thought that sounded pretty good, but I wasn't wild about the, the neck pickup sound that I got with it. Um, um, so anyhow, I replaced, I replaced these, the, or I added a middle pickup and I replaced the, um, the neck pickup. And for those I used, uh, these are the DiMaggio area 58s. Um, I've tried those in 67s. Actually, I've tried lots of different pickups. And the 58s to me, they're, they're, they're very bright. They're not quite as bright as the 67s, but, um, they have a great sound, and um, anyhow, to me, they work in lots of different guitars. So let's see the the wiring that I use. Let me talk a little bit about the um, the wiring. You know, when you when you have a Telecaster, there's a, a switch here in the front, a main three-way switch, and that selects a standard wiring. It selects between when it's forward, it selects the um, the neck pickup, and when it's all the way in the back, it selects the the bridge pickup, and then when it's in the middle, it does a blend between those two pickups. Now, a, a Stratocaster, on the other hand, has a five-way pickup. And that's the first thing I tried it. And that, that works just like a Stratocaster, and that's, that's nice. But I really did like the middle sound that you get with a, the Telecaster, the ability to have, you know, the outside two pickups. I didn't want to lose that. And I also like this idea of, you know, all the way, one way kind of gives your neck sound, and then all the way the other gives your bright sound, however you choose your bright sound to be for a particular song. And so... What I decided to do was to keep that wiring the way it is, but instead of having, when it's in the back position, instead of it selecting this, pack, this pickup necessarily, I have it select the output of another toggle switch that does the same sort of selection between these two pickups. So this one, if it's down, it's selecting the bridge pickup. 
If it's in the middle, it puts these two together in parallel. And if you click it up, then it does the middle pickup alone. Now that output goes then into this three-way switch, which, can, which, you know, if this, so in other words, if this pickup is, this switch is down, selecting just this bridge pickup, then you get the standard tele mix of it's either this bridge pickup in the middle, it's those two, and it's forward, it's this one. But if this guy's all the way back here, selecting this bridge, bridge pickup, and you put this secondary toggle switch in the middle position, now it's selecting these two. And so you get that kind of strat sound. Or if you put it all the way up, now it's selecting this guy alone. And if you then move the main switch forward, now you've got a mix between the front pickup, the, the bridge pickup, and whatever's coming out the back, and this guy's selecting this guy alone, so you get that parallel sound of these two guys together. Okay, the other thing with a telly, though, a lot of people will like a, a heavier sound or, or more of a, a nasally kind of humbucker type sound. And so one easy way to kind of approximate that is to take these two pickups back here and wire them in series. So there's still humbuckers, but those humbuckers um, are usually wired combined together in parallel. Um, but if you had an actual <laughs> humbucker pickup, obviously those two, the two humbucking pickups um, within the single pickup would be wired in series. And so this, this, by putting these two pickups in series, it's kind of like getting a um, humbucker type effect. And the way I wired that in was to just put that as a pull knob on the, um, the tone. So if you pull the tone, that switches and makes these two guys um, in parallel, or I'm sorry, in series. And then this switch still selects between these guys being in series now and this neck pickup. So it's kind of a nice flexible thing to be able to go from the neck sound and then jump back to these two guys in kind of a humbucker position. Um, that's it, you just with one switch when this thing's pulled out. Okay, so let's, let's play some of the, the different sounds. Um, I'll start with uh, this back switch selecting the, the bridge position um, so that the front switch works like a normal Telecaster kind of a arrangement. So it starts with this guy all the way forward, it's selecting the neck pickup, and we get kind of that neck pickup sound. go to the, all the way in the back, it selects the bridge pickup. And then if you put it in the middle, it'll blend between those. Anyhow, to me those are some really key sounds. Versus. Versus. Anyhow, having all three of those sounds easy seems important to me. Um, and then uh, if we go all the way to the, the back though, then this switch, this guy, the front, this main selector is to the back, it's selecting whatever this toggle switch is doing with these two pickups. So then we can go between, you know, um, just the bridge pickup. Then we can do both of them together. We can do just the middle pickup by itself. Anyhow, they, let me try something a little bit more. That's the middle pickup. This is the bridge pickup. And then this is the two of them together. Anyhow, they have just sort of versus versus anyhow they're all very usable um, and very different okay and then obviously whatever's going on back there can be blended with uh, the um, the neck pickup um, oh and there's one more back here on the bridge it can be either these two guys right now they're selected to be together in in parallel so that's the Or they can be in series if I pull this switch out. So that'll be more like a little bit more gain versus in parallel. Again, series, parallel. Anyhow, that's right at the edge of this, this particular configuration where it starts to break up. But you get some of that sense. Okay.
And then last I'll show um, just a little looper kind of a thing here where you can get just uh, with one guitar, if I set up a loop of some recording, then um, without changing too much, you can get two different tones to kind of balance each other. So I'll start off playing a rhythm thing with um, these two pickups in parallel back here. So this guy's the back pickups in the center position and then the front selector, excuse me, the front selector is selecting you know, whatever's coming out of those back two. Um, yeah. And then I'll do a lead thing where I'll switch forward to the, uh, the neck pickup for the lead. Um, let's see, here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 